Mackenzie Bishop Gospel Church. Na tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya siku hii na nafasi hii nzuri ambayo Bwana amefanya kwa ajili yetu. Fungua nami katika kitabu cha Warumi. We're going to get like two scriptures from there. And I want to believe you be blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this uh, time that God you've given us and gathered us together here to hear your word. For the Spirit, we take full control by the service as I minister to your people, Lord. May you continue to use me as a vessel to reach your people this morning. In Jesus' name, we pray and we give thanks. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Atukuzwe mwokozi. Niko na imani kubwa ya kwamba Mungu amekulinda na ni kwa sababu inakuona na niko na imani umekuwa na wiki nzuri regardless of vile ambavyo imekuwa na shukuru Bwana kukuona Bwana asifiwe sana. Uh, leo nataka kuongea kuhusu urejesho lakini on a topic of transformation for restoration. Transformation for restoration. Uh, transformation ama kubadilika kubadilika kwa ajili ya kurejeshwa bwana asifiwe sana transformation for restoration ndio restoration ifanyike kuna mambo unahitaji kubadilisha mwenyelewa we are in the year of double portion restoration as a child that is the leading that God has to partia and so for that restoration to come okay restoration will not just come ukisema wewe utaendelea kufanya mambo kama kawa right kama kawaida ha huh? wewe ni vile vile tu hakuna kitu kinakusumbua ama hakuna hakuna changes kidogo unafanya na utarajie restoration ama urejesho kuje uh, unaweza kawia kidogo but because we desire to see restoration tunatamani kuona urejesho hivi karibuni we kuna mambo tunahitaji kujua ni lazima tubadilishe. So transformation is a dramatic change in form or appearance. Transformation ile hali ya kubadilisha mambo, hali ya mambo kubadilika either mambo kikawaida ama pia vile ambavyo unafanya mambo in appearance. Praise the name of the Lord. In appearance. So there are changes that we need to make sure that they have to happen. There's a transformation. Kuna hali ya kubadilika. Kuna hali ya kubadilika ndio mambo ifanyike ndani yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Actually, it, it is it's, it's an extreme radical change, transformation. Ni kitu ambacho ni lazima kifanyike na kionekane. Mnakumbuka kitu ilikuwa inafanywa na wamama uh, kwa runinga zetu kitambo kidogo ilikuwa inaitwa slim possible. Mnakumbuka slim possible? Slim possible kwa wale ambao hawajui labda ni kipindi ilikuwa kwa TV ambapo kuna wadada walikuwa wamekula vitu zao vizuri. You understand eh? Mnanielewa nikisema kukula vitu zao vizuri? I wamekula vitu zao vizuri nakuta mtu ana ana kilo kama moja na hamsini ama moja na na ako tu sawa akitembea unaona huyo mtu amekula vitu zake vizuri. Lakini sasa huyu mtu amekula vitu zake kuna limitations mingi sana kwa nazo. Kuna mahali mahali hawezi ingia. In case of hatari, hatari yeye anakuwa victim wa kwanza, hawezi akakimbia ama akajiokoa or something, unanielewa? So wako kwa shida mingi. So wakakuja na hii idea we need to sleep. So sleep possible meaning it is possible to sleep. Right? So who is mwili kubwa ni vizuri kuwe ndogo kidogo so what they did waliingia they did just come kwa hiyo 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 mambo na wakaendelea kukula kama kawaida walikuja wakaketi wakaambiwa vile ambavyo wanafaa kufanya ndio waweze kuslim you know hii mwenye akona 140 kg target yake labda ni akuwe na 
So apoteze 50 good kilos. Na kupoteza 50 good kilos yo raisi. Ni kazi lazima ifanyike. Meaning, there are some food afai kukula. Na kuna mazoezi lazima afanya. Are we together? So by the time it is one month or the season ambao wamekewa pale, there is actually mutu wakiingia na vile atatoka kuna tofauti kubwa sana. Wana sifia sana. So this person leaves that place a transformed person. Get back to our jails katika korokoro zetu ama prison zetu za Kenya. The purpose of kuweka watu kule hata kama ni ni ku ni ku wengine wanawekwa kama kuteswa there are people who have taken advantage akiingia kwa prison vile ambavyo ameingia anaingia akiwa jambazi sugu anaingia akiwa mtu mbaya lakini kwa sababu wakiingia kule wengine wanaenda kwa kujenga training za kujenga wengine wanaenda training za several training za kutengeneza vitu hizi za ufundi ufundi wengine wanakuwa ni mechanics wengine plumber wengine masonry vitu kama hizo so anapotoka pale cause amekuwa engaged kwa mambo fulani ya kubadilisha maisha yake he leaves prison coming into the public a transformed person so there is a change that has happened in his life so he is ready to begin a new life bwana yesu asifiwe sana ako tayari kuanza maisha mapya na maisha ambayo itakuwa imekubalika na the society ambayo tuko bwana asifiwe sana so it is what one decides to do that causes transformation ni kile ambacho mtu ameamua kufanya kinachofanya hali ya mabadiliko katika maisha yake. Na ninapozungumza hivi naomba Roho Bwana akakushughulizie na akakusaidie kuweza kuelewa ni nini hiki ambacho kiko ndani yangu mimi kama Mkristo ambacho ninahitaji kubadilisha. Ni mabadiliko yepi ambayo ninafaa mimi nikue? Ni tabia zipi ambazo zimeniadhiri ya kwamba sifiki mahali ambapo ninakusudia kufika na ninatamani niweze kufika pale. Ni nini hiki ambacho kinafaa kitoke ndani yangu? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So it is what someone decides uh, that causes transformation. Ni uamuzi wako. Ah, uh, hata when wanaenda kule si impossible, wakiambiwa wasikule chipo na uko na tamaa ya kukula chipo na jificha hapo, hakuna kazi utakuwa unafanya hapo. You never change. Utakuwa unakula machipo unafanya mazoezi hapa lakini mwili tu inakaa pale pale. Ama usijasema chipo ni mbaya tafadhali. I'm just saying, bwana sikie sana. I'm just saying. So, it is change in someone's life. Transformation it is change in someone's life. Remember this, when we talk about transformation, what may come in the mind is maybe changing something to look better, which is okay. Just to change something to look better which is okay, but as we shall be reading I want to believe that Now, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 and uh, verse 29. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Those whom God has already chosen, He also set apart to become like His Son, so that the Son would be uh, eldest brother in a large family. Uh, sijui Biblia yako ina ni lugha gani I mean ni version gani But let me read another version here ambayo itatuweza kutupatia maybe a, 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 a good understanding of what I want to Okay Basi sema na Kiswahili nasema hivi Maana hao aliyowachagua tangu mwanzo ndio aliyowateua wapate kufanana na mwanae ili mwana awe wa kwanza miongoni mwa ndugu wengi I want to say this touch God Mungu anataka na ametuchagua tuweze kuishi maisha ambayo ni maisha ya watu walio badilishwa the people that he has transformed the people that he has made him for himself bwana asifiwe sana bibi nimesema kwamba how maana how 
aliyowachagua tangu mwanzo na when we talk of kuchagua tangu mwanzo it means that god when you are born his purpose for you was not to live a miserable life mpango wa mungu huko ukae maisha miserable maisha ya kungangana hapana he purpose that you're going to live a happy life but then what happened you remember the time of adam and eve in the garden kwa sababu ya kutofuata maagizo na neno lake mungu they fell into sin and because of falling into sin sisi wote ikawa sasa huo ndio mtindo ambao ulimwengu mzima uliofuata unafuata mpaka ile siku ambayo inafika wewe kujielewa na kusema sasa ninahitaji kutoka kwa ulimwengu na nimfuate Kristo Yesu awe mwokozi wa maisha yangu so that's why we are saying as the scriptures is initial plan of god mwanzo mwanzo kile ambacho Mungu alikusudia na wewe na mimi na ulimwengu mzima ni ya kwamba alituchagua tangu mwanzo kwa sababu gani ndio aliyowateua wapate kufanana na mwanae Jesus amana God ama Mungu alikusudia mimi na wewe tabia zetu mienendo yetu jinsi ya kufanya mambo iwe kamwe ya mwakama ya mwanae Kristo Yesu na ndio sababu ukisoma Ephesians wa Efeso sura ya tano, Biblia inatuelekeza ama kutuagiza tuweze kufanana kuiga Kristo Yesu mwana wake Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana Praise the name of the Lord So it is not good for a child of God to live like the children of the world Sio vizuri ni vizuri kujielewa na kujua possession yako nafasi yako ya kwamba mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu na hakuna vile giza na nisikie hii vizuri hakuna vile giza zinaweza zikashikana pamoja na na, na mwangaza moja lazima itakuwa juu ya lingine na kumbuke ya kwamba wewe sio giza wewe ni mwangaza bwana asifiwe sana wewe sio giza wewe ni nuru biblia inasema kwamba muwe nuru ya ulimwengu bwana asifiwe sana na mahali yote ambapo kuna nuru everybody should know everybody sees na anapoona inamsaidia sitaona giza imesaidia mtu apart from wakora na wezi na watanani hao ndio wanasaidia kwa na giza lakini watu wazuri watu straight wanasaidiwa na mwangaza praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe sana yeah. watu wazuri watu wa mungu watoto wa mungu giza ndio inawasaidia na giza should be part of a believer's life praise the name of jesus so the bible says that for god for a new alitujua na kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya kutujua akatuteua akatuteua to be actually the version I, i don't know what version you have but NIV probably inasema kwamba to be conformed to his son kutengenezwa ama unabadilika kutoka hali ya utu wa kale ama hali ya mtu wa kawaida unafanyika into christ like you are not christ but you are like him bwana yesu asifiwe sana you are like him No it is not easy i know to be like someone unless you do a deliberate decision to change ni ngumu sana ukisema ukwe kama pastor sio rahisi but ukikaa na pastor ama ukikaa na huyo mtu ambaye ungependa kuwa kama yeye hauhitaji siku moja ni ukwe kama yeye unahitaji upapa number one, this is my lifestyle sijafurahia vile ninakaa na kuna mali ambapo nataka nifike kuna vile ambavyo ningependa kukua ndio hiyo iweze kufanyika ni uamuzi unafanya wewe mwenyewe na ukifanya huo uamuzi unachukua hatua praise the name of the lord hauwezi ukaa tu hivyo alafu unasema mimi nimekuwa addicted sana kwa simu every time niko kwa simu na ukiongea hivyo unasema nitataka nimeamua nimefanya uamuzi Every time ni Facebook na WhatsApp na Imo, Instagram na vitu zingine mimi nina purpose kutoka siku ya leo mimi sitakuwa naangalia hizo vitu tena na uko hapo eh ndio unaona nasema kutoka siku ya leo mimi hapana uh, that is not a decision you need to make a decision stop think about it na baada ya kufika about it take a deliberate move fanya uamuzi na ufanye jambo ambalo litakalo kufanya wewe kukaa vile ambavyo ungependa bwana asifiwe sana we are saying we are, we are in the year that god want to restore us atuturudishe ama atupeleke mahali ambapo tulikuwa mahali ambapo somehow vitu hazikwenda vizuri ama pia mahali ambapo tuko 
Kuna vile ambavyo tunatarajia kufika sehemu ingine. Now for us who are believers, people in the household of faith, tunaamini katika Mungu kutuinua. Tunaamini katika maombi. Tunaamini katika miujiza yake Mungu. But then what am I doing? Ndio Mungu anapokuja mahali ambapo ananitafuta ama mahali ambapo niko, anachoniletea ni kuwe niko tayari kukipokea. Bwana asifiwe sana. What are we doing about it? Ndiyo hiyo restoration ikuje ndiyo tunasema there are things that have to happen and one of the things that should happen it is to live a transformed life. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Romans chapter 11 and now verse 12. This is what the word of God says. Romans uh, chapter 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 12 from verse 1. Skiza hii, Biblia inasema hivi. So then my brothers and sisters because of God's great mercy to us I appeal to you offer yourselves as a living sacrifices dedicated to his service and pleasing to him. This is the true worship that you should offer. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi kwa hiyo ndugu zangu maadamu Mungu ni mwenye huruma nyingi na wasii kwa moyo wote mtoleeni Mungu mili yenu kama tambiko iliyo hai takatifu na yenye kupendeza hii ndio njia yenu halisi ya kumwabudu praise the name of Jesus now for the transformation to come hali ya kubadilishwa ije kuna mambo mawili ambayo nataka kukupatia hapa uweze kuyaelewa vizuri na uweze kuyafanya ndiposa maisha yako iweze kubadilika na ukishabadilika basi uko tayari kupokea kile ambacho Mungu angependa upokee can i say this before i go there some of us there are things kuna mambo ambayo Mungu angekusudia na anataka kutupatia as a matter of fact ametuwekea lakini anangoja tukomae Anagoja tubadilishe mwenendo. Anagoja tubadilishe mtazamo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Anagoja tumachue. Praise the name of the Lord. Because a, a very good example, mimi kama mtoto wa baba yangu. Kuna mahali ambapo baba yangu amekuwa nayo miaka mingi ndani yake, lakini kwa sababu mimi ni mtoto wake, nikiwa shule ama ni wakati nilikuwa mdogo kuna vile ambavyo Yohane nipatia mali yake lakini sasa nimekuwa mkubwa nimemachua ninaelewa mambo alikuwa na, 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 na grace ya kutosha ya kutransfer mali yake kwangu Bwana asifiwe sana Niko na shuhuda za watu ambao wazazi wako na mali mingi wako na mashamba na wako na vijana wakubwa wengine hata wameoa wengine wamekoma vizuri lakini mzazi anasema no hii mali ni yake lakini i cannot dare kumgawia kwa sababu mzazi anaona huyu mtu kuna kiwango hajafika hajakoma vizuri the moment nime transfer tu shamba kwake hivi the first thing atafanya hiyo shamba in one year itakuwa imefanya nini imeuzwa na mzazi anaona hii ni mali ya jamii ya, ya familia hayuzangwi siwezi kubali uzwe na hata kama nitampatia sio okay nini yake anaweza fanya vile anataka nayo lakini i think i'm not ready to give them and so it is with our god i believe this i believe this kuna mambo mungu angependa kukupatia wewe kama mkristo lakini anakuangalia hivi anaona nikikupatia kanisa utapatikanaga siku moja kwa, kwa mwezi anaona nikikupatia biashara hiyo akiinua haleluya wana biashara hapa akiinua hiyo biashara hata kanisani uitakuwa utaonekana yanga wapi? Ndio hiyo. Sijasema umesema. <laughs> Itakuwa ngumu wewe kupatikana. Kwa hivyo anajaribu kuitho hold mpaka akutengeneze mpaka ifike mahali ambapo unajipeleka kwake kama hujaitwa. Mahali ambapo unaenda kwake kumwabudu wakati mambo iko sawa, unaenda kwake kumwabudu wakati mambo haiko sawa. Praise the name of the Lord. Anangoje ifike mahali ambapo hauhitaji kukumbushwa watu uomba. Hahitaji kukumbushwa watu ufanya fasti. Hahitaji kukumbushwa kwamba ni vizuri watu kutembea vizuri na Mungu na kumpenda kwa mioyo yao yote na kwa mali yao yote. Watu wengi wanapenda Mungu na midomo zao. 
Lakini mioyo yao haijampenda Mungu, mali yao haijampenda Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni watu wengi sana wanafanya mambo makubwa kwao, you know, mambo yao personal, lakini mambo ya Mungu hapo hawaelewi. Wanasema kanisa itafanya. So inaweza fika mahali ama iko mahali ambapo kuna vile ambavyo Mungu ana withhold that which he can give you even now. I want you to I want to say this. Purpose to be transformed. Amua ubadilike. Upapasi ya kwamba nitabadilika, nita nitakomaa. Na nikikomaa nitaona ninataka nikusudie ya kwamba Mungu kuna resources zangu ambazo ameniwekea ataachilia. Bwana sifiwe sana. And even for us as a church, maybe there are things that God is ready to actually apotehari kuachilia. A resources zote za hii kazi apo nazo. You want to tell me a kwamba hii milioni tunataka hapa kidogo Mungu ana apo nazo. Ziko huko mifukoni mwa watu. Labda hata zingine wewe ndio umezuia ziingie kwa mifuko yako uzilete hapa. Resources are there, but the point is this. Are we ready enough if not let us purpose in our hearts that we are going to change. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now the Bible says that I therefore beseech you by the mercies of God. Nina wasii kwa rehema zake Mwenyezi Mungu. I beseech you by the mercies of God, brothers and sisters, by God's mercy, I appeal to you to offer yourself as living sacrifices to God. So number one, for transformation to come, ni vizuri kujipeana kama dabiu iliyo hai kwake Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na tunapongea kujipeana kwake Mungu kama dabiu iliyo haki it is to purpose ni kuamua that God here I am. Uliniokoa Mungu, yes. Unanipenda Mungu, yes. Una mawazo mazuri kunihusu Mungu, yes. Nami ninakuja kwako, use me as I am. Make me. Nitegeneze nikae vile unavyotaka. The Bible says the book of Jeremiah in chapter 18, as the clay is in the hearts of the potter kama udongo ulivyo mikononi mwa nani mfinyazi hivyo ndivyo niko mikononi mwako Mungu mold me nitengeneze nifinyafinye vile unataka niko tayari nimejitoa mimi wote use me make me the way you want Bwana asifiwe sana that is what we are saying we have to present to offer ni kujitoa nimejitoa nitumie vile utakavyo praise the name of the lord So for transformation to come so that restoration can finally come your life has to be a life that has been given to God. Umeokoka ndio lakini kuna nafasi ambayo bado unahitaji kuachilia Mungu afanye katika maisha yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Number two, for the interest of time. Number two, it is you need to have an attitude of a worshipper. Lazima ukue na attitude ya mtu wa kuabudu ama muabudu one who worships one who worships Bwana asifiwe sana Verse two, the Bible says Do not conform yourselves to the standards of this world Hallelujah Do not conform yourselves to the standards of this world but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind then you will be able to know the will of God what is good and is pleasing to him and is perfect have a attitude of a worshiper mtu ambaye ni muabudu anatumia muda wake katika the being anayeabudu and just to note this Many of us have worshiped idols without knowing. Tumeabudu miungu mingine bila kujua. Now, an idol it is anything that takes the place of God in your life. Hiyo ni idol. Hiyo ni hiyo ni sanamu. Chochote kinachochukua muda wako na wa Mungu, you know, you're supposed to be in the presence of God kumwabudu Mungu lakini unakuta ya kwamba muda huu unao ufaa kuwa mbele zake Mungu haupo unautumia sana and you are so dear to that sijasema kukosa kanisa siku moja kuchukua ku attend one or two things is an idol no but you know that thing that you adore so much 
This one I cannot do without. This one I cannot live without. I think the only person that you can talk, you cannot live without it is God. What is your fear, sir? So have an attitude about worship. Worship God. Worship God with your money. Worship God with your substance. Worship God with your body. Kila macho mungu wa mekupati. Mwabudu mungu nacho. Na atafurahia sana. Now, verse 2 in the Do not conform yourself to the patterns of this world. But let God transform you. Wacha mungu wa fayani ni? Akubadilise. Now let me say that. Restoration. Nama kubadilika. It may not come if we continue with our old way of life. To kidelea kufanya mambo bila mbali tumekua tunafanya and without even desiring change or anything, let me say this, we must forget of the patterns of the old. We must forget of those patterns. Baby, nasemi ya kwamba? Yeah? Do not conform yourself to the standards or to the patterns of this world. Do not, do not, do not conform yourself to the standards of this world. I'm sure your Bible may be in the same pattern. Lakini kisoiri in the same heavy, musiike mitindo ya ulimwengu hu. Hallelujah. Musiike mitindo ya ulimwengu hu. Unfortunately, what we are sana, to nataka kuka. Ama to naona ulimwengu ni kapo komzuri sana. Vida ulimwengu wanafanya mambo. You know, and sometimes they are doing things so well, so well, until unaweza waiga. But let me say this. The world in afar kuiga sisi, siyo sisi tuiga ulimwengu. Wana sifia sana. Let me say this. I want to encourage and challenge you this. Wewe kama mtu wa mungu, fanya mambo, na jiazuri katika hali ya kumuamini ya mungu, ya kwapa ulimwengu utamani kukuiga. Siyo wewe kama mtoto wa mungu, uige ulimwengu. Mungu tunalewa na watu mungu. Let's purpose. Let's make a decision. Yeah? We make sure that we forget. We must. Ni lazima tuamue. Tabia zile za ulimwengu. Zile watu wa ulimwengu wanapenda kufanya. Ndiyo hali ya kurejeshe wa ikuje. Ni lazima tu purpose we are going to do everything. Now I've given you a very good example. There is that restoration that God wants to bring to us. But akituangali hivyo we are not ready for that restoration. Then we may be talking of just a word which will never happen in our lives. But because we are very sure that God wants to take us there, ni lazima to purpose that we are going to change the way we do things. Praise the name of Jesus. And one of the things that happens is this. Babila seme ya kumba, msige mitibe uli mungu. Hubali mungu afanye mabadiliko danienu. Wana zifiwe sana. So we have to desire some changes to happen in our lives. Wana sifiwe sana. Kuna vitu zimeingia kwa mawazo yetu ambazo zina zina zinazuia utenda kazi wa maisha yetu. Wacha nirudie hii. Kuna vitu zimeingia kwa mawazo yetu zinazuia utenda kazi wa maisha yetu. Wale watu ambao wanaweza ileo kidogo mambo ya ya ya, ya mitanda mima, machines eh? ama hata simu yako. Hiyo simu yako ambayo uko nayo ama hii this 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 gadget here. Ukiweka vitu vingi sana zingine they are not necessary inafanyanga nini? Ina hamu. Ina hamu. Unaweza kuta ya pombe unahitaji kupiga na inakataa. Siku moja nilikuwa na kasimu ka smartphone kazuri wewe kalikuwa kana hangam kana nilet down sana siku moja kanilet down kabisa nikaamua kanitajana nako niko Bomas of Kenya that time traffic i mean magari zilikuwa zinapatikana i don't know what was happening alafu nikaona rafiki yangu ako peke yake kwa gari a very good friend of mine amepita hapo Bomas wah kasema acha nichukue simu nifanye nini nimpigie wakati na scroll hivi kazimu wa kazima sasa nikasema acha niwashe very fast. Kwa kuwasha na nikatafuta namba yake nikaanza kupiga. Wakati nimefanya tu kole ya kwanza akazima tena. Sasa hivi nikafikiria huyo kwa baada siku ameteremka. Si awezi rudi. Kasimu kwa sababu kalikuwa kameja kako na na vitu mbaya zina uh, you know too much. You know this e kuna hii inaitwa virus. Yes. Kasuka kahang, haka kumisaidia. 
Mbaka ni kasema this one, no, I have to buy another phone. Now, there are some of us, in our mind, there is a lot of, we call them junk, junk files. As is a UB, zinaitaji kuto, kutoka. So even in us, in our lives, kuna junk files zinaitaji kutoka. Praise the name of the Lord. If file jo ikuwe mzuri, if might do it function mzuri, there are some junk files. There are some viruses. Zinaitaji kutoka. And by that I mean some of the things we do. Some of the relationships we give. Some of the habits that we have. For transformation to come, ni lazima tu purpose ya kwa. But these ones, they have to go and to make our minds new. Praise the name of Jesus. There is something we call formatting. Sema formatting. We have to format our way of life. Na kuformat ni kumanisha, hii machine kama imeja na inisaidi, nitaenda kwa settings na nisembe reset to the factory settings. Nitafinja finja hivi, nisembe chochote kikodani erase. Futa yote, sitaki. And nikifuta, you know what will happen? By the time na kuja kuwasa hii machine tena, inakuwa kama ikumpia. Physically, where does your umpia? Inakai inde chaka chaka. But the system is new. Wala sifiwe sana. If that system is new, whatever I want to do with it, it is an idea. Na kuna vile ambadu, in as much as nimi erase everything, there are some settings ambazo nikuwa nazo, ambazo, I just click, na niseme, the information ambo ilikuwa ni zuri, ambao nilikuwa ni naitaji kuritain, itarudi. But everything that was not okay, inakuwa imepotea? Imepotea. We need to format our lifestyles. Hallelujah. We need to format so that this transformation can come. The things that we desire, they have to come in our lives. As I finish uh, this, this message, let me give you a very good uh, scenario or illustration of, 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 of the, 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 the process of, of, of transformation. The process of transformation. Let me say this. Process ya kubadilika haikuangi raisi. Tukubalia neni hivu. Process ya kubadilika haikuangi rae. Raisi. It takes some time. But, there has to be a start. Kuna, this, kuna, kuna uyu, spili mdudu ama ni dege, butterfly. Butterfly ni dege ama ni mdudu. Mdudu. Dege. Kuna wale wa shule ya dege, kuna wale wa shule ya mdudu. Wherever. But tunajua butterfly. Uyo mnyamo mzuri. You know, a very nice. Butterfly, akizaliwa, anakuanga katapira. Katapira ni kimdudu, kikangi, akikangi. Ukikangaria kama ka... Yeah, you don't want to see it. Kachafu, kabaya, kanaka, kanaweza kugwara, you know. And that butterfly, it, I mean that caterpillar, has an ability to transform to a butterfly. I wish I had the pictures, but we get there one time. Caterpillar huyu wako wapa, kamdudu, kanaka, dibaya. Mwisho wake hapa, kanakuwa butterfly. But in between the caterpillar and the butterfly, there is a process. Yeah, there is a process. Kuna zile ambazo chakula anakula, the nutrients, eh? Kuna hile chakula ambayo anakula, anagro, pole pole, pole pole, pole pole. Alafu anaikua, anakaa in some form of a cocoon, eh? Bako sasa tinashitua this thing, you know, it is no longer a caterpillar. In a car, something that you somehow don't even understand, and finally, in a pokuja kuwa butterfly, it is something that everybody likes. Ukienda kwa shamba mbali kwa nakatapiras, unaweza kaa tu apa ibu kusitazama, you just are happy. Colors, different colors, you blue, reddish, what what, they just are amazing to behold. But wakati ni kuwa katapira ibu ina neka. Ona sikuwe sana. That is a very good illustration of what we call a transformed life. Some of us, right now, tunaweza kuwa kwa hii stage ya kigunyu. You know kigunyu? The caterpillar now. That stage. Nobody wants to meet you. Nobody wants to see you. But this thing, when it starts eating and growing through the process, eating the right nutrients, feeding the right nutrients, it becomes what it was born to be. 
what it was meant to be. Run as if you are saying. Let me say this, child of God. The scripture go to resume my power when we were born again, or even before we were born again, but when we were being born. God did what we call He for a new, and it won a once. And the moment we got born again, we received what we call a new life of God. What is if you son? We received a new life of God, which that new life of God that we received, which can transform our lives. So what I'm saying is this: as we purpose to transform for restoration. Sio sisi tutajibadilisha kunaye ambaye uko na uwezo wa kubadilisha maisha yetu but upon us agree let me talk about the Holy Spirit in a minute Roho mtakatifu hapo na uwezo wa kuingia ndani ya kila mmoja wetu every one of us and you speak in tongues and you do wonders for the Lord hapo na uwezo wa kuingia ndani yako but you know what hawezi kuja kujisukumilia and I hear if you open your heart for him, praise the name of Jesus. Ukifungua moyo wako mwambie Roho Mtakatifu zama ingia ndani yangu nitengeneze nikae jinsi ambavyo unataka. He will do exactly that without fear. So he will not force himself into you. So the transformation that we are talking about ni sisi wenyewe tufanye uamuzi ya kwamba we are going to do something, we are going to do something for us to be transformed. Now Iki katapira mdudu huyu anayebadilika kuwa ndege ama mdudu depending of what you say ni kwamba anakula sisi kama watu wa Mungu what do we eat what do we feed on Bwana sifiwe sana what do we feed but of course for us as the children of God our spiritual nutrients it is what will help us to develop into what God initially made us for spiritual nutrient which is the word of God Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Which is the word of God. Ita tusaidia sana katika sisi kuweza kufika mahali ambapo Mungu anakusudia sisi tuweze kukua. And we are saying there are some things that we have to transform. There are things we have to do. We have to change. Tulipoanza pale mwanzo tulisema kwamba transformation is a dramatic change in form or appearance. Kubadilisha mambo kwa vile ambavyo vile watu wanayefanya it's a radical change. Bwana asifiwe sana. How long have you been praying? How often have you been praying? If you want God to change your life, change your lifestyle. One is as if you are And I pray, and this is my prayer, even for myself, this year, ni naomba Mungu akanibadilishe. Akanibadilishe nikae vile ninavyotaka because this restoration that we are talking about, I want to see it. I want to be trans I mean I want to be restored. Whatever was stolen, what was mine, irejeshwe kwangu. Even more, sio sasa vile ilienda, irudi na maradufu. Like the time of 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 Job. Job alipoteza watoto, lakini wakati amejeshewa, mali yake nini nini? Alikuwa anaeshewa double double. Alikuwa na saba na alipatiwa 14. Alikuwa na sita na alipatiwa ikiwa 12. Whatever he had, God doubled him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So what I'm saying is, let's purpose to bandilish you. And the renewing of our minds should start there. Mungu abadilishe mawazo yetu. Tutazame mambo upia. The way we've been looking into prayer, we are called for the prayer meetings. We are called for the Bible meetings. And we don't see the importance of it. Nataka tumwambia mungu, badilisha mimi. Ni badi, transform me. I want to be a believer with, with a living testimony. I want to be a believer who people can admire from a distance. One as if you as an. Things have to change. For transformation to come or for restoration to come, transformation has to happen. Maisha yetu lazima ibadilike. And we have to start from our mind. The Bible says, by the renewal of your mind. Praise the name of Jesus. By the renewal of your mind. Do not conform yourself to the standards of this world, but get transformed. May God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind. Then you will be able to know the will of God which is good and is pleasing uh, to him and is perfect. One as if you are sound. So, as a way of you being transformed, the word of God is designed to do that in your life. I wish you had somewhere to write, but for those who have, let me give you a few, few scriptures that can help you to transform 
for restoration. A few scriptures that will help you to transform for restoration. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says that if anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. Verse chapter 36, verse 26. That I will give you a new heart. I will remove a heart of stone and give you a soft heart, a new heart. But this time God was telling Ezekiel that he's going to give him a new heart, a soft heart, not a heart of stone, but a soft heart for the people to receive the word. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6, Ezekiel 36 verse 26. Uh, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 he says he who began a good work in you he is faithful you bring it into completion praise the name of the Lord Luke chapter 6 and verse 43 to verse 5 uh, uh, you get to know about how a tree is known by its fruit the moment a tree is planted it goes through several stages uh, in a song in a song get you get to understand this you as a child of God you are a tree and that tree should bear fruits and fruits that are exciting even into the lives of people around you. Verse uh, 139, Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24, the Bible says, Search me, O God, search me, O God. What's a good one? Mungu tazama, ni, 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 chunguze, ya, ni chunguze, ni, ni chunguze mwe wangu. And if there's anything that is not right, take it away from me. Hallelujah. And, 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 uh, and uh, 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 finally, Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 38 to 40, uh, God says that I will give them one heart. God is give his people one heart. And the moment when God gives you a heart, he gives you a good heart, a heart to love, a heart to love his word, a heart to be faithful, and all that in Jesus' name. Just close your eyes for prayer in Jesus' name. Falme Mwema katika jina la Christo Yesu, na kushukuru sana. Ni asante kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Mungu wa amani umezungumza pamoja nasi ya kwamba tunahitaji kubadilisha maisha yetu. Mtazamo wetu wa mambo bila tumekuwa tunafanya mambo uhusiano wetu na wewe tunahitaji kupeleka katika kiwango kingine. And therefore in the mighty name of Jesus we are praying oh God that may you help us and minister to our lives oh God that as we are purposing to walk in the ways of you King of all glory we will please you in our lives. Transform us and make us, O oh God. And as your word is speaking to us, that we need to transform, to be transformed, not to transform to the world, but our hearts to conform to your will and to your plan. Help us, for this is not by our own effort. We cannot do it, dear Lord, but we can give you help us, dear Father. We give you praise and glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we give thanks. In Jesus' name, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Let's give you a good clap.